Hello, this is Dr. Stanley Kim at Stanley Kim MD Clinic. I'm presenting this lecture for patients who are newly diagnosed with breast cancer. When the news of cancer is delivered, most patients worry so much, they don't know what to do and what to expect. I want to tell all patients that with good modern treatments, almost all patients will survive, especially when diagnosis was made at early stages. Thank you for watching. Breast cancer is the most common cancer in women, arising in one out of eight women in the U.S. Most patients are diagnosed at early stages. Prognosis of early breast cancer is excellent. For example, almost all of the stage one patients live more than five years, and only a very small portion of patients develop recurrent disease after five years. Even patients with advanced stages can survive many years with the help of newly developed therapy. How breast cancer is diagnosed? Usually by mammogram or sometimes with the help of ultrasound and often patients feel the lump by themselves. But mammogram is not 100% accurate. About 20% of cancer may not be shown in mammogram and only 20% of abnormal mammogram turn out to be cancer. Therefore, any palpable lump must be biopsied, even though mammogram is normal. But not all palpable lump is cancer, only 50% turn out to be cancer. Screening mammogram starts at age 40 to 50 years, depending on the risk levels. Sometimes patients have a dense breast. It's quite difficult to detect the cancer in the dense breast, so we often use three-dimensional mammogram and ultrasound. Sometimes MRI scan can be uh, uh, used. In this picture I draw, the woman has a mammogram and the breast is compressed, and this is the mammogram uh, film. You can find the cancer here. The abnormal lesion must be sampled by biopsy to find out whether it is cancer or not. Usually, patients have either stereotactic breast biopsy or, or ultrasound-guided breast biopsy. In stereotactic biopsy, the patient face down and the affected breast is fit through the uh, table. And the radiology doctor inserts the needle to the uh, uh, target uh, lesions while watching the mammogram at the same time. In ultrasound guided biopsy, the radiology doctor used the ultrasound probe and find the lesions while watching the images on the screen. Then the needle gun is fired to obtain the sample of the lesion. Now the biopsy specimen was sent to the laboratory and pathologist diagnosed as cancer. What kind of cancer you have? The breast has milk producing lobules and the milk draining ducts. Most of cancer cells arrive from, arise from milk draining ducts called invasive ductal carcinoma. Less commonly, cancer arises from milk making lobules called invasive lobular carcinoma. When the cancers are not invaded nearby tissues confined uh, uh, within the uh, basal cell membrane, it's called non-invasive cancer uh, it's called also carcinoma in situ. There are two types, uh, ductal carcinoma in situ arising from the ducts and the lobular carcinoma in situ. Those ductal carcinoma in situ, DCIS, and the lobular carcinoma in situ, LCIS, are called as stage zero breast cancer. Now, what's the next step after cancer diagnosis? Of course, and most importantly, the cancer must be removed surgically from the body. There are two types of surgery. Mastectomy, in which whole breast is removed, and the lumpectomy, uh, where the, uh, only the chunk containing cancer is removed. Now we have to make a decision. Which is better, mastectomy or lumpectomy? Actually, both are quite effective. Uh, but I need to tell you that patients who underwent lumpectomy uh, need to have breast radiation therapy because there is a risk of cancer in the remaining breast. 
So in mastectomy, you don't need radiation therapy because the whole breast is removed. Psychologically, it may be better to some because it's a once-for-all therapy, but it's unaccept uh, unacceptable to others due to loss of breast. Cosmetically, it may be inferior without reconstruction surgery. It's more frequently done in elderly patients or patients who have a large size tumor or multiple uh, uh, sites tumor. Lumpectomy requires radiation therapy, which takes weeks and may cause complication. It's less of change to your body, psychologically and cosmetically superior to most women. It's usually suitable for small size tumor. However, upfront chemotherapy can shrink the large size tumor to make lumpectomy possible. It's called neoadjuvant chemotherapy. The lumpectomy and radiation therapy is called breast conservation therapy because uh, it conserves breast. The radiation therapy is like x-ray, but higher doses is given to the small target area of breast. Look at the uh, picture I drew. It's to kill the potential cancer cells in the remaining breast, and it reduces recurrence. Usually given five days a week for five, six weeks, but can be shortened by giving a higher dose each time. Each time it takes 10 minutes. Potential complications include sunburn like skin changes, fatigue, really heart damages when given to the left breast because heart locates below the uh, uh, breast in the left side. Really can cause second cancer many years later. Breast cancer cells can spread to the lymph nodes, usually to the armpit. So checking the lymph nodes is very important. During surgery, one, two, three axillary lymph nodes closest to the breast cancers are sampled to find out whether the cancer cells have spread outside the breast. Those closest lymph nodes are called the sentinel lymph nodes. And the biopsy of this sentinel lymph nodes is called the sentinel lymph node biopsy. Surgeons inject a blue dye near the uh, cancer, cancer, and those dyes travel to the uh, lymph nodes. The first lymph nodes, closest lymph nodes, are called the sentinel lymph nodes. If the sentinel lymph node found no cancer, meaning the cancer is confined in the breast, not spreading outside, no further surgery is necessary, but if it's positive, it was required to remove whole axillary lymph nodes called axillary lymph node dissection, which can cause lymphedema. The patients develop almost permanent swelling of the arm. It's a very uh, devastating. However, new study discovered that if the cancer cells have spread only one to two sentinel lymph nodes, no further surgery is necessary as long as breast cancer size is small, less than 5 cm. We analyze breast cancer cells to predict prognosis and to guide therapy for hormone receptors, uh, including estrogen receptor and the progesterone receptor, HER2 protein, and the grays of cancer cells. Estrogen female hormone works as a fertilizer for breast cancer, helping cancer cells grow. About 70% of breast cancer patients has hormone receptor in their cancer cells. Patients with positive hormone receptors have better prognosis. And the hormone receptor positive cancer is more common in postmenopausal women. Why is so important? because anti-estrogen drugs are effective to treat patients with the positive hormone receptors. It's called hormone therapy. HER2 is a protein that stimulates cancer growth. Small portion of breast cancer patients has, has mutated HER2 gene in cancer cells, which produce large amount of HER2 protein. Those HER2 positive cancer cells stimulate the growth by using their own HER2 proteins. Therefore, HER2 positive cancer patients can have worse prognosis, prognosis but by using anti-HER2 drugs, Herceptin or Pergera, the prognosis is not much different from HER2 negative patients. Those therapy targeting HER2 is called a targeted therapy. Breast cancer cells are graded as 1, 2, 3, depending on how fast and aggressively they grow. The higher the grade, the faster they grow. 
Patients with positive hormone receptors have better prognosis, especially when they have a negative HER2. But even HER2 positive patients have fairly good prognosis with the uh, uh, targeted therapy targeting HER2. Postmenopausal women have better prognosis because their ovaries cease to produce estrogen. Patients with low cancer grade do better. Small size cancer and low lymph node metastasis patients do better. When all three estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor, and HER2 are negative, it's called a triple negative breast cancer. It's more aggressive and can spread early. About 20% of those patients have BRCA1 breast cancer gene. So the patients younger than 60 years need to be tested for BRCA cancer genes. We usually uh, give treatment after the surgery called adjuvant therapy, including hormone, chemotherapy, and targeted therapy. Adjuvant therapy means treatment after removing all cancer surgically. The purpose is to eliminate any possible remaining cancer cells in the body. Chemotherapy is given for three to six months for most of high-risk patients. Who are high-risk patients? Patients with large size cancer, lymph node metastasis, high-grade cancer, and uh, young age less than 35 years. Hormone therapy is used for at least five years for patients with positive hormone receptors. Targeted therapy is uh, uh, anti-HER2 uh, therapy using Herceptin or Progeta. It's given to HER2 positive patients for one year. A recent study showed that a six months therapy is as good as one year therapy for certain patients. I want to mention about cancer genomic assays. Those are uh, often used to distinguish high risk from low risk patients to determine the necessity of chemotherapy. Most commonly used test is called Oncodyne DX test. Anti-estrogen hormone therapy is given for hormone receptor positive patients. It has two types of drugs, tamoxifen and uh, aromatase inhibitors. Tamoxifen blocks estrogen receptors of breast cancer cells. It works for both premenopausal and the postmenopausal women. It reduces breast cancer recurrence by 50%, and you must be uh, careful when you use antidepressant because most of those drugs weaken the tamoxifen effect against cancer. Usually patients take tamoxifen for at least five years. It can cause blood clots or uterine cancer in elderly patients, which is very rare. Aromatase inhibitors inhibit estrogen production in the adrenal glands, not uh, in the ovaries. So it cannot, be, cannot block ovaries from making estrogen, therefore, they won't work for premenopausal patients because they still have uh, active ovarian functions. Usually five years of or, uh, aromatase inhibitor therapy is given, and it's slightly more effective than tamoxifen in reducing recurrence and improving survival rate. But it can cause more painful side effects, including osteoporosis with bone fracture, arthritis, and the severe joint pains. Three drugs are available, anastrozole, uh, trade name is Arimidex, Letrozole, Femara, Exmetane, Aromacin. What is the uh, prognosis breast cancer? It depends on stages. The five-year survival rate is 100% when patient has stage one cancer, where the cancer size is less than two centimeter and there is no lymph node metastasis. It's a 93% for stage two cancer where the cancer size is between two to five centimeter and uh, up to three lymph node metastases in the armpit. And the 72% for stage three cancer, where the patient has uh, more than five centimeter tumor and, and or having multiple lymph node metastases. And 22% uh, for stage four patients, where the cancer has spread to distant organs such as bone, lung, liver and the brain. As we discussed, the patients with breast cancer do quite well. Uh, most of them survive many years, but remember 
you must have hope, faith, and love for life. Thank you for watching.